Hello YouTube, I'm back to bring you another Oodvember video, and this one's actually going to be a bit of a different one. Uh, it's one I just acquired a couple days ago as a sample. I heard it about from Fragrantica, and it's a little bit harder to come by than most uh, of the Oud videos that I've seen. And actually this one's going to be from the House of Galin, which obviously everyone knows about, but it's going to be from the line of, I believe it's pronounced Les Deserts d'Orient, and that's uh, from, I think, actually just last year, this uh, line came out, so three fragrances. Uh, I guess they're supposed to be kind of more of the Arabian style fragrances, so obviously you got to have one that has oud, right? And this is the one I'm doing. Uh, this one's going to be uh, Songe d'un bois d'été, I believe that's pronounced, or d'été, nah, something like that. I haven't taken French since uh, freshman in high school, so it's going to be a little bit rusty. <laughs> Um, and actually the nose behind this fragrance was Thierry Vasse, or Thierry Wasse, something like that. And this fragrance features notes of jasmine, patchouli, cedar, saffron, keyword saffron, cardamom, myrrh, oud, and bay leaf. Now, I wore this at work yesterday, and, uh... At the beginning of this fragrance, it's kind of stinky. Um, I think it's from the oud, and I think the myrrh, possibly the cardamom, or like the spices and the oud just kind of give it off a of kind of like a, not necessarily a body odor, but it's just a little stinky. <laughs> but it's not, it's not overbearing, so it's not so bad. Um, but after I would say maybe 10 minutes or so it starts to die down and the saffron is really the key star of this fragrance because that saffron is just so strong it is throughout the fragrance it is at the top so don't let the oud fool you this is going to be more of a supporting oud it's <coughs> it's definitely not a uh it's definitely not like the superstar of the fragrance. It's just it, kind of supporting the saffron. And I, the myrrh is kind of there. I think the myrrh is there stronger at the beginning. And then it kind of also fades more to like a supporting role. Um, I mean, if you like saffron, you might want to check out this fragrance. This actually reminds me, because I think both of these fragrances are saffron based, it reminds me of uh, Ro Rome 10 by Odin. And that's, I think, one of my first uh, fragrances that I sniffed at that really was saffron-based. So when I this dried down a little bit more, it reminded me of that one because of the saffron. It's just so hard-hitting in your face. It's just really pronounced in this fragrance. So if you're expecting a lot of oud, I wouldn't expect that because it's more, it's more in the background. You know, it's supported by other notes, obviously, the saffron, so it kind of alters the smell. And when I sniff it close to my skin, I can get it kind of the oud in there and definitely the myrrh. I think the myrrh gives more of a texture to this fragrance than anything else. Uh, but, I mean, the other notes aren't really prominent at all. I can't smell patchouli. I can't smell car. I mean, it's cardamom at the beginning I can smell. But after that, everything just kind of fades to the back. So it's a dry fragrance and it's also you know because obviously the saffron i find it to be a very dry note which i'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be i'm not too keen on saffron that's what i get out of it is a really dry note uh with a little bit of spiciness in it and uh earthy quality definitely this is a very earthy fragrance not dirty though that's the thing it's just earthy it's, uh, I would say, more of like an airy quality about it, thanks to the lighter notes like the saffron and such. But it really, this is a saffron fragrance through and through, so don't let the n name fool you. This is saffron all the way. So, I mean, if you're really into saffron or if it's a note you really want to get into or check out, you can get a sample of this. I got it off of eBay. Uh, someone's selling them for... Thing like 10 bucks for two 1 ml samples <clears throat> and if you want to buy this fragrance that's another thing about it it's really really hard to find 
um, on Fragrantica, the latest review, as of this review anyway, on it, they actually say where you can get it, and it's uh, at least in USA. The only place you can get it is in Las Vegas and the Guerlain uh, shop there. You could probably call them and order it on the phone. So if you really like this fragrance, you want to drop two hundred seventy dollars for seventy five ml, you know, go check this out. But first, I would definitely say give this a sniff out first. It's it's not bad at all, but it, it's hard for me to really want to put down that much money considering I can get a three point four ounce of Odin uh, Odin's Rome for one hundred thirty dollars on Lucky Scent. And once that's also a very saffron based fragrance. I mean, there's obviously differences. I think that one's actually more dry than this one, but uh, that's because this one has myrrh in it, which kind of gives it more of a resinous feel to it. And the oud definitely, I think, uh, brings out some sort of a character in this fragrance. But this is definitely not oud based. So that's my uh, first impressions and another video for oud vember. And this is by Galland's. Uh, house and it's Songe d'un bois d'été and that's all I have for you today um, I'm going to see if I get some more Oud November videos before <laughs> November's up because I got quite a few more Oud samples I got uh, Le Labo's Oud 27 which is, is different and um, I'm going to be getting actually Leather Oud pro probably today in the mail so see how that goes I know <laughs> I've heard some things about Leather Oud. I've also heard some things about Oud 27. Oud 27 wasn't so bad for me. So that's all I have for you today. I uh, hope you like this video. If you do, please, you know, subscribe to me. Uh, I'm going to do more videos like this. Hopefully get into more of the re uh, fragrance reviews again. Right now I'm just in a sample spree. I'm wearing samples more than I'm wearing my bottles right now to try to find the next sample that I, you know, that I really want to buy the whole bottle of. Uh, and also... Uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried out this fragrance. Let me know your thoughts. See if you like it. If you hate it, you know, just let me know how you feel about it. And that's all I have for you today. So hopefully I can get another fragrance video in the next couple days. I'm going to be going away soon for a couple days uh, starting Tuesday. So I'm going to be working after close tonight and open tomorrow. So I don't think I'll be doing a video for at least a good solid... Uh, 28 hours or so <laughs> but we'll see what happens and uh thanks again for everyone who's watched me or subscribed to me lately uh, it means a lot to me uh and you know, i'm just a regular guy just review i'm still you know refining my nose and learning notes now i'm really starting to be able to compare which is nice and it's just really it's been fun it's been fun so hope to continue that thanks and have a good day